So he has promised to take care of our back backpacks over here while we head out and enjoy the day. I know you want to stay, Julia, but we have to go. You can play later. Okay. I'm ready. All right. Another vlog, guys. Last time we were in Cebu, we visited the SM City Cebu Mall, and we got a lot of feedback on con the comments on that one, saying that that's actually like an old-fashioned mall. It's not that big. You guys should definitely go check out the SM Seaside Cebu. And we have a little bit of time in Cebu today, so we have to listen to you guys, our viewers, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check it out. So we've been taking a lot of taxis whilst we've been here in Cebu city because that seems to be the most convenient way of getting around especially if you don't really know the bus routes and everything and it seems a little hard to kind of figure the city out but today we tried something different we didn't actually film but we, ju we just jumped on a jeepney which is just something we haven't done before and yeah it was, it was really cheap it was so nice it cost us 7 pesos per person Oi. oh we'll slip and they just took us directly to like a free shuttle uh, at BDO I think it's called and then we had to wait for a while but then we just got a free shuttle back it was a really cool bus actually because it's like it's 12 in the afternoon and they just crank up the party music like really loudly <laughs> really really cool it just gets you like your mood going so quickly do you think so? Mm -hmm. yeah yeah it was really nice I'm so glad we actually found the GP and the bus and yeah. it's so cheap was awesome, but okay, enough of that. Let's go explore the mall. What's your first impression? First impression, it's cool, really, really nice. I mean, like cold. <laughs> it's huge and so much empty. It seems way emptier than the other mall, actually. You feel as if you have space and. Just yeah. look at this. There's like <laughs> so much empty space here. I'm sure even if it's like 100,000 people in here, it'll still feel Probably. like it's empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. So the first stop on our plans is actually go all the way to the top because there's a famous rooftop there with a great view, apparently, allegedly great view of the ocean and the whole city. <laughs> we heard a lot about that one, that should be amazing. So, so we can't wait. We, we can't wait. This we, is the first thing we do. Definitely. We just have to go there now. Yeah. Don't touch yourself. <laughs> so generally, already just like going through here, it seems really really good, it seems so clean and modern, I'm, I'm wondering about the prices of the stores, we have to check them out, but it seems so expensive kind of, it's so empty and, and clean, and clean, yeah, exactly. clean just means high standards, I know, we really think that we might not be able to afford anything here. We really want to go to the food court, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, so we just quickly looked it up before we headed here. The like different sizes of the Filipino malls and the basically all the malls in the world. Because we had a lot of comments arguing about which one is the biggest ones. Uh, <laughs> so we thought we'd try to put that to rest. But it's actually really hard to find out. Because there's so many lists depending on so many various factors. So if you go by completely just like size, like least size of the, or the floor, ground floor, whatever, I don't know how to say this, but then it seems like Philippines has like two or three in the top ten and one maybe in the top five or something, something like that. And the other mall of Asia in Manila, the SMC side obviously is one of the bigger ones. And you also have the, what's called the North DSM, no, EDSM. We're going to look it up. It was one in Quezon. Right yeah, we're going to check it out. Because it's in Quezon City, Quezon, I'm not sure if I say that right. But those three are apparently like the really huge ones. And that's three Filipino malls. So it's obviously a thing here to, to make 
huge malls here in the Philippines. Really, really cool actually. Yeah, no wonder it's become kind of an attraction. And because it's so big, if you ever get tired of walking around and shopping, so cool. there's obviously an old station here where you can rest and go. This guy is taking Resting. it quite literally. He's chilling. Six minutes, 20. 20? Maybe afterwards, when we get a little tired. Now I still feel that we have energy. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep moving. Rooftop, we're coming for you. So yeah, we just asked and the rooftop is actually no rooftop, it's on the highest floor, so we're on the third floor now. Uh, so yeah, it's apparently we just have to walk a little bit further here and I guess it's just like an outside seating area with a, like a nice balcony or something. Should be nice anyway, it's outdoors, it's on the kind of a roof, so I'm sure it won't disappoint. <laughs> Yeah, we're not really sure where we can check it out. Uh, it should be a good view here somewhere. Maybe over there. We're at the Sky Park, as you saw on the sign in there. So we're actually not quite sure if this is like the place with the rooftop with the view, but it kind of looked like it, like the nice viewing area. It is a pretty good view. This is some bushes, so it seems a little hard to kind of see over it if you see here. So you do see some ocean, but it's kind of like behind all of these bushes and trees. Yeah, this is really nice. Oi, oi, oi. I'm glad we get we're so close. Guys, <laughs> look over there. Did we, you hear the thunder? Yeah, that was a thunderstorm over there now. I'm glad we're doing the view before the thunder comes over here. As soon as it comes, we're just gonna run inside and, and hang in the mall. This is a convenient thing if you have like a park next to a mall or like included in a mall. You can just go inside as soon as it starts raining. Yeah. Someone actually told us that the, that the malls here are kind of like parks for the Filipinos. Uh, that because of the, the like incredible heat here in the midday, uh, people don't really like to go to the parks, nor parks, because it's not that comfortable to hang out in such, such strong sun. But that's why they come to the mall. It's nice air conditioning, and you can just spend a few hours there. And you, well, you wait for the sun to get a little bit less hot, basically. But it's just really interesting. It's really cool. I think this is the jingle of the mall. It's so cool. They seem to have jingles here for everything for Jollibee, for all the malls. I even think for the bus that came here, they had a jingle. Bam <laughs> <laughs> mall! You want to sing a little? And I don't know the text. Okay, I wanted to relax a little here. But it's actually harder than one might think. Because it's really hot. <laughs> Obviously. Obvious. Maybe like this. Nice. It seems comfy. <laughs> really like on the edge here. You walk up the stairs here. The view is actually way cooler. You can see the whole ocean and the ships there. And in this direction, the mountains and Fridjof and the thunderstorm that is awaiting us. Coming closer. It is. It's so weird because it's so warm here and so sunny. And then you look over there and just see it coming. Just see it. <laughs> here we found like a nice seating area. Look at this. This That's is the a best view. I know, and this is a chill place to spend a few, I mean maybe not hours, but but at least <laughs> share a drink with some friends and check out this view. Let me get the awesome highway, awesome ocean, awesome city. Awesome girl. <laughs> I knew she was fishing for it. She was fishing for it. I was maybe a little waiting. <laughs> I saw the ice. This is quite far down. I'm getting a little bit like tingly feeling in. But you have to see this, right? What is it? Star Deck cake. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. She found a cakery. So far away. And, and little, little girl is too fat for going there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we can make our way down there. Ah, the view here is actually cool. I didn't see it. Through here, you see the ocean. Nice. I like that it's so much built like based on uh, glass construction of the outside. So you, you can kind of a lot of places look out. And because it's kind of situated on this kind of peninsula, 
like a little bit apart from the mainland, you get this nice view of the ocean and the city like behind it. It's cool.